so my today's topic has been slightly covered by sarita bajaj ma'am itself that what is the update on t3 so the most important thing is that whenever we are planning to replace t3 it should be under supervision still the t4 is the treatment of choice for any hypothyroidism but 10 to 15% cases which doesn't get resolved uh, of their symptoms so i will be covering about those guidelines so in a brief introduction we know that hypothyroidism is one of the most common endocrine disorder seen in approximately 6 to 17% population ranging from various uh, uh, regions and it is more prevalent in women and the complications and the clinical manifestations depends and varies from nothing to several features and it also depends on the duration of the thyroid uh, that the patient is not taking the treatment so uh, since 1970 levothyroxine replacement therapy is the standard of care in hypothyroid patients uh which has replaced the desiccated thyroid extract which was used for several years in uh, prior years so whenever we are making the diagnosis of hypothyroidism the treatment target is to achieve biochemical euthyroidism that is thyroid profile which we get in our lab report is normal clinical euthyroidism that is the patient is resolved of his all symptoms so uh in a brief introduction again that uh, the first report of uh, use of the desiccated thyroid is given in the literature uh, long back in 1891 by dr james and initially it was derived from the sheep and inject and it was injectable form like insulin but uh, now it has came uh, it was turned into the tablet forms for next 50 to 60 years till 1970 which was made from the beef and the pork thyroid extract after 1970 it is by the molecular uh, genetic engineering and we are getting the tablets of levothyroxine so uh, the, uh, there is difference between animal and the human thyroid physiology and the uh, so the pharmaceutical industries had noticed that thing in humans the ratio of t4 to t3 is 14 is to 1 in the peripheral blood but in pig cow sheep it is approximately 5 is to 1 or 4 is to 1 so they thought that if we replace t4 itself then uh, there are deiodinases enzyme in our body and it will get converted to t3 and that that became the treatment of choice and the benefits are there that it is uh, easily uh, it can be consumed easily the half life is long so it is more convenient and but uh, once something comes there is always dissatisfaction so there was dissatisfaction in 10 to 15% cases and they found out that even if we are giving monotherapy they are not uh, getting the achieving the clinical euthyroidism maybe at the molecular level some defect is there or uh, whatever they are not able to achieve it so uh, they uh, the studies and then the scientists again started uh, finding out that when we are just giving low lt4 there is low free t3 values and that may uh, lead to some disturbances and uh, and several times we see that the thyroid function uh, test is normal but the patient is complaining sir mera badan dard abhi bhi nahi kiya mere ko susti lagi rehti hai wazan badhta hi ja raha hai and the physicians start over treating the dose of lt4 increases uh this just think that it might be lab values de- may be defective or something so uh the patients go into iatrogenic hyperthyroidism and that is also harmful so, uh there is renewed interest in late 90s and early 2000s that uh, t3 should be brought back to the standard therapy to mimic more physiological thyroidical secretions so uh why we know that from the thyroid gland both t3 and t4 are secreted 20 20% of the peripheral t3 is secreted from the thyroid gland and 80% is converted from t4 and t3 is much more if, uh, active and receptor uh, affin- uh, affinity is approximately 10 to 20% time uh, but t4 is having longer half life and t3 is having just half life of around 4 to 6 hours so uh, how does uh, if you are giving just long uh, lt4 the circulating t3 will be derived from the t4 by deiodination if the patient is having defective enzymes then this will not happen and uh, if we are giving just t3 then t3 is having short half life so there will be much fluctuation but t4 is having longer half life so it brings better compliance and lesser fluctuation 
and there are studies that if t3 is used then it the well, uh, levels of t3 increases abruptly immediately and that can lead to complications like arrhythmias if it is given in inappropriate doses so important thing is if we are thinking to give t3 it should be under the supervision of the specialist that is an endocrinologist so thus both the ata and eta guidelines suggest that in selected cases trial of lt3 can be considered under careful supervision by an expert in that field so uh, there were several trials in which they have included the participants and they have the criteria for inclusion was that the patients those who are not getting relief with the lt4 therapy only were recruited or those who were having this dissatisfaction with the quality of life on questionnaire based uh, assessment and uh, they were included in the trials all the patient those who were taking minimum 1.2 microgram per kg of lt4 and still their uh, thyroid profile was not getting controlled and their uh, thyroid functions were abnormal and they uh, clinically they are not achieving euthyroidism instead of increasing the doses they have added the uh, t3 levels and then the patient those who were having seriously low t3 total t3 levels or l free t3 levels those who were already on lt4 monotherapy were included so what they found out that lt4 monotherapy administered once daily produces normal low normal t3 levels with low levels being seen in some thyroidomies animals patients also so it is good if we give some t3 because it will improve the t3 which is 20 times more potent and it is actually going to act on few receptors like in central nervous system the t3 t3 is the only uh, the central nervous system has just t3 receptors so it may uh, improve the cognition it may uh, elevate the sinus symptoms of depression but it has to be given cautiously then lt4 monotherapy administered once daily increase the t4 to t3 ratio and uh, compared to the uh, native euthyroidism levels and uh, in the pharmacological equivalence the lt3 to lt4 is approximately 1 is to 3 ratio so they have improved from 1 is to 14 to 1 is to 3 and uh, in lt3 lt4 combination therapy with the lt3 given once daily produces up to 40% increase in t3 levels and uh, which may be useful also may be having side effects also because t3 may lead to arrhythmias if it is given in excess and may lead to anxieties also and uh, the combination which are expected to produce 7 44 88% fluctuations when they are given in the doses like if the t3 is, is given in 3.25 uh, microgram per day, uh, per day then it can produce the fluctuation of 17% 5 then 44% and if it is given 10 micrograms like uh, cytomel tablet which we have used several times uh, uh, it produces the fluctuation of 88% but when t3 is given the uh, variation is very high and interpretation of tsh becomes difficult and uh, so uh, again whether once we have given t3 the tsh drops very rapidly uh, the mechanism is not very clearly known but yes so uh, uh, the physiological dosing of lt3 is difficult uh, and to achieve conventional t3 preparation with the conventional t3 preparations which are at present so we need the t3 preparations which are more physiological and those are slow release so that it may uh, the fluctuation becomes uh, lower so uh, uh, to summarize all those studies there is need for newly uh, adequately powered studies because till now there are just 14 15 studies and those have been of shorter duration of 3 months to 6 months only so these trials has to be of longer duration to uh, be conducted so that more uh, clear data are there and the advantages and disadvantages of the parallel versus crossover trial design should be maintained that uh, uh, in these patients they have just recruited the patient those who were fitting into those trials they haven't crossed over or they haven't uh, uh, changed the uh, treatment pattern and asked the patient that whether they were bad, feeling better with the monotherapy itself or they were uh, feeling with the combination therapies 
and the etiology of hypothyroidism uh, and the presence of comorbidities conditions should be considered as i am saying again and again that if t3 is given then it uh, is very active powerful molecule and it can lead to arrhythmias and subgroup analysis should be considered in which the combinations was better so these are the various formulations which are available and uh, cytomel is the one which we have commonly used in our practice when i was doing my dnb and other combinations are like this so to conclude the recent guidelines suggest that there is insufficient or no strong evidence or superiority of combination of lt4 lt3 monotherapy uh, over lt4 monotherapy but uh, uh, it also acknowledges that the patients those who have persistent symptoms or have suboptimal health despite lt4 monotherapy it the uh, patients can be given the trial of the combination therapy if it is supervised by an expert thank you thanks a lot because this is coming up because earlier when the desiccated thyroid was given the it was almost giving the uh, uh, it was like uh, uh, so these studies are coming up that desiccated thyroid contains both t4 and t3 so i have made this slide old is gold then the, again what we are learning which may return back thank you thanks for all patience hearing